Well, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect, as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in DVD Architect, where, as you know, once you've created a movie or added a movie to your disc, you can go down here to the timeline with your movie selected and place scene or chapter markers simply by clicking on the Add Scene or Chapter Markers button, creating a scene or chapter marker, and giving it a name. But this is not the only place where you can add scene and chapter markers. You can add scene and chapter markers in your original movie in Vegas Movie Studio and then port them over to DVD Architect and they will remain embedded in the movie. Let me show you how that works. Let's go back over to Movie Studio Planner. Here we've got a movie and I'm just going to add some scene and chapter markers to it. To do that, I simply move the playhead to where I'd like or approximately where I'd like my chapter marker to be, my scene marker to be, and then I right click. Not on the playhead, not on the little ticker that runs along the top of the timeline, but on the bar at the top of the timeline. When I click on that, you see I have the option to go to markers and regions and insert a marker. A uh, shortcut to that is simply pressing the letter M. So once I create a marker here, I can call it the train and I can reposition that. I'm going to just drag it back to the very beginning of my movie. There we go. And then move my playhead along and we'll create another scene marker here. This time I'll just press the M and we'll call it Ohio. Obviously it's a very short movie. Create one more here and we'll call it going home. So we've got three scene markers here in my movie and I'd like to port this movie over to DVD Architect and have these scene markers remain in place. In order to do that, the easiest way to do it is to go to Make Movie here in the Platinum version of Vegas Movie Studio. Select Burn to DVD or Blu-ray Disc and you notice if I select the option DVD with menus, Blu-ray Disc with menus, that when I click Next, one of the options I have down here is a checkbox for save project markers in media file. So if I were to click the next button here, the program would then generate my video stream and my audio stream and include those markers embedded in the file. Now, if you prefer to create your video stream and your audio stream manually, you can go over here to project, go to render as, and if you were to select, for instance, main concept MPEG-2, and I want to create a DVD widescreen video stream. And then if I go up here to render options and select from the drop down menu, I do have the option here also to save project markers in rendered media file. So I'll go ahead and click render here. Now the program is going to render the file for me. If I were to have clicked the wizard window that we showed you earlier, that would have actually taken it over to DVD Architect automatically. Okay, and now that we've generated our video and we would also generate our audio stream, I've already done that. Let's jump over to DVD Architect, going to a blank project, and I'm just going to find those files. And there are my files. Let's do a refresh. There we go. And you can see my video and my audio file. And when I just drag my video file, up here because the audio and video file have the same name uh, they come in together if I double click on that shortcut that it created on the menu you see that it opens up my video and audio are both there and take a look right there on the timeline there are my markers my menu markers came in isn't that cool they came in embedded with the video file now if you want to know more about how these two programs work together how to use all of the great tools in DVD Architect as well as Vegas Movie Studio. I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about these programs, check out the moviepix.com guide to DVD Architect and the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. They're both available at amazon.com as well as at the Movie Pick Store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.